Hello, my name is Quentin Rock and I'm an application engineer here at GoEngineer. In this tip, we'll take a look at a quick way to take a file data card and convert it over to a search card. As you can see, I've already got a file card set up for my CAD files here. And I do want to mention before I do this that the complete search is a great tool and it does already have the ability, as you can see on the cards tab here, to search through the file data card fields. However, this search does have a lot more to it, and sometimes it just makes sense to make a more streamlined search based on the file card. So what we'll do is we'll go into our administration tool. Now keep in mind you do need to have a certain level of admin permissions to be able to edit data cards. And the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and open the file card that I've already created. Then to make it a search card, it is as simple as doing a file, save as, switching the type to search, and of course hitting save. In this case, I'll give it a name that makes sense. From there, as with any search card, you'll want to give some permissions. Let's just give everybody permissions for this example. And I'll go ahead and switch to any custom column sets that I might want to use for this particular search and save that. Now that might make sense on its own depending on the card, but in this case my card has some fields that don't really make a lot of sense when it comes to searching. These fields at the bottom here don't really have any bearing on actually searching. They're not input fields, they're just information fields, so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight them and delete them. Also, I have a couple fields on here that are marked as read only which makes sense on a file card, but not necessarily on a search card where I need to be able to type in input to search by. Next, I'll go ahead and move everything down a little bit. And I want to add at the very top here the, to be able to search for fol certain folders and names, just like the complete search card. So rather than creating that from scratch, I'll go ahead and open the complete search card, switching it to search and tile that over and then select the things that I like from here. So I'm going to, in this case, select these items, do a control C or a copy, come back over to my new search card and paste. And of course you can line these up wherever you want and maybe we'll put the logo up top here also. One thing to note, for some reason out of the box here, this browse button that I copied actually works in the complete search, but in your search, it's going to be pointing to kind of a weird, um, not English <laughs> language uh, um, spelling there. So I just go ahead and correct that by switching it over to the search folder path. And if you ever forget, you can always click on the one next to it here that shows you that it's already lined up to the search folder path. And again, if this is all you want, you can quickly hit save and go from there. I do have a little spot at the bottom here, so maybe what I'll do is I'll also grab these checkboxes, because I do think those are very helpful ones to be able to toggle when you're doing searches. So again, Control C, come back over, Control V, move these things to the correct spots. And you know, if you need to tidy this up a little bit more, you certainly can. I'll go ahead and accept it as the way it is, and click Save. Just be careful that you don't save the complete search or any edits to it. We'll go ahead and close the card editor and try out our new search. And now I'll go ahead and launch my search card. And as you can see, I, I have a great search card that looks very similar to my CAD card with a few extra options in there. I'll just do a quick search for, for anything here. and. It works, everything looks good, and we're ready to go. Thank you for watching this quick tip on how to convert a file data card over to a search card.